Hi everyone, welcome to a new episode of Doctor Who with Reviews and More. And I uh, watched the trailer for the new Doctor Who um, special that's going to be released on the 25th of December 2023. And uh, I watched it uh, for a couple of hours ago. And well, I must say that uh, this episode looks great, awesome, amazing, exciting, and fun to watch. So I can't wait to um, see this episode on Disney+. Plus. And, well, in, in this episode, we have the new Doctor. And, well, if, if you saw uh, last episode, uh, the 60 year special, The Giggle, you saw that uh, David Tennant regenerates when um, the toy maker uh, sh- put the laser on him and shoots him right here. Yeah. And uh, after that, you see David Tennant regenerates. But he didn't change. Why? How? Well, he well he told uh, Donna and uh, Melanie if they could pull, stretch him a little bit. So they took, uh, well, Melanie took one arm and, the, and Donna took the other arm and they stretched him like so. And then the 50th doctor comes out in a weird way. Yeah, it was weird to see the doctor ch- changed like that. And then, after Nugatti comes out of uh, David Tennant, then we have two doctors, 14 and 15. And, and, well, and both of them played a game with the toy maker. And you can guess who lost that game. Well, if not, you have to watch Doctor Who, The Giggle, the third 60th anniversary special episode. Yeah. Oh, on Disney Plus, a BBC iPlayer and uh, other BBC channels. Um. Well, in well in the Christmas special, I saw that the this girl, this blonde girl, were climbing the ladder, and then you see the doctor comes running on the roof and jumping and catch the ladder and said, Hi, I'm the doctor. And uh, they climbed up. And on the top, they saw a ship, a boat, a ship. Yeah, well, I didn't see, uh, I didn't uh, recognize it before, but I saw the trailer again for a little while ago. And then I saw it. It was a boat. And and on the boat, there were some creatures called goblins. And uh, the episode is called The Church on Ruby Road. And how does this uh, uh, goblins get there with this boat? And why are they here? Well, will they destroy the planet, planet Earth? Or will they only destroy the Doctor and the companions? So, what uh, are the Doctor and the, his new companion going do, gonna to do about this? Well, well, if you want to know, you have to find out. If you watch... Doctor Who, the church of, no, the church on Ruby Road on the 25th of December. Yeah. On Disney Plus, iPlayer and uh, the most of uh, BBC channels all around the world. And, well, also in the trailer we saw... um, Um... 
No, I I don't remember what more that was in the trailer, but well, it looks like a good, exciting, and um, great, fun, uh, awesome episode to watch. So, well, I I am gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it on the twenty fifth. The well, the day after Christmas. If if you didn't know, um, but now you know. Well, uh, these these uh, DVDs with uh, the sixty year special are gonna be released very soon on um, DVD, Blu-ray, and Steelbook. Yeah. Um. Well, steel Steelbook is, is expensive. Yeah. Here, here where I live. Over 700 kroners in the Norwegian money. Over 700. Between 7 and 800 kroners between there. That's as expensive for a steelbook, don't you think? Um, well, well, the, well, the normal DVD and the normal Blu ray in uh, the normal cover uh, costs. Between uh, 400 and 500 kroners. It's a little cheap than the steelbook. Maybe, well, may, maybe in your country. Yeah, maybe in your country you find the steelbook for $50. Yeah, $50. Yeah. You think that's cheap. But here in Norway, where I live, $50 is 500 kroners. In Norwegian money, yeah, and and well, maybe maybe you find it to seventy five dollars in your country. Oh, and you think, oh, that's cheap, yeah, but seventy five dollars is seven hundred and fifty dollars here in Norway, without the um, the bank fee, because well, because if if you buy uh, DVDs or gift cards or any items at all here in Norway. No, online. And there are some bank uh, fee involved. The item will be a little expensive. Yeah. But, well, when, when I ordered... Uh, when I'm going to order the steelbook next year, yeah, because I'm going to order a couple of steelbooks next next year with Doctor Who. Um, well, I I I'm going to order the sixty year special on steelbook. But, well, because I got the fifty anniversary special on steelbook, so so then I have to order the sixty years special as well. And well, also I want to order Sada. I think the episode is called Sada something, and and other steel books as well, from a CD on or Plata Compania or Savi. Who knows? Well, I will uh, find a way to order them next year, um, in the new year, twenty twenty four. So, um, well, ev everyone are excited that, uh, they, well, that uh, they're going to release a new Christmas episode in December. Well, because they, they haven't uh, been any Christmas episodes since uh, Peter Capaldi. Yeah. And when, when uh, Jodie Whittaker took over, there, there wasn't any um, Christmas episodes, no. Only New Year, yeah. Well, you have to wait to the New Year to watch the New Year specials. So, well, so people thought that, oh, we have to wait to the New Year. Oh, that's boring. Why, why couldn't they create a Christmas special instead? But now they are. Well, the fir well the first ever Christmas special since Peter Capaldi. Yeah. 
Um. Well. Uh, well, as well. Uh, jo well, you know, Jodie Whittaker. Yeah. Yeah. She was. She was an awesome doctor as well. But she plays the doctor in a female way. Uh Well, a little different. A little different from uh, the male characters. Well, some some people uh, don't understand that. That well, female and male are different. They're not uh, alike. Like, well, well, you know, Jodie Whittaker. She well, she played the doctor as a woman, and in a woman perspective. And uh, the male male character uh, plays the doctor in a male perspective. Yeah, but well, but people are confused and and they don't understand. No. So that's well that that's why the episode with Jodie Whittaker was a little different from the male perspective. Yeah, because she was a woman. And well, and Peter Capaldi, David Tennant, uh, Christopher Eccleston, William Hartnell, and the rest that plays in Doctor Who from the sixties to uh, two thousand and nine were male. Yeah, then you see the side of male perspective. Yeah, but but when uh, Jodie plays the Doctor. She plays the doctor in a female perspective. Yeah. Then you know that woman and a man isn't alike. Some, well, some women likes to play a character a little different. And the male character likes to play the character in the male perspective. And in that way, there's a little different there. Well, like Batwoman and Batman, yeah? Well, ba Batwoman uh, changed the Batman suit into a female suit because she wanted that way. Well, she wants to play Batwoman in a female perspective. And Batman... Well, the characters that play Batman, the male characters, plays Batman in a male perspective. Well, do you see where I'm going with this? Yeah. Well, ba back to Doctor Who. Uh, well, you know the well, you know the male characters from the sixties till two thousand and nine, and you know. I mean, the 60s to 2017 or 18, I mean, when uh, Peter Capaldi took over between William Hartnell and uh, Peter Capaldi. Yeah, they are male. So they play the doctor in a male way perspective. And when Jody took over, all the people were against her. Oh, she plays the doctor uh, wrong. She didn't play a good doctor. But she did. If you look closely. Yeah. But you didn't uh, give her the chance. No. You watched episodes. Because you are looking for something wrong. Oh, that, that's wrong. That didn't happen, you know. But, well, but, uh, well, jo Jodie Whittaker isn't a male. No, she's a female. She's a woman. She's a lady. Yeah. And the other characters that play uh, Doctor Who was male, a man, and a guy. Yeah. Now you know. So, well, so it, well, it it isn't racist or wrong that a lot of women play a character. No, as a man, no, 
that come out wrong. But Jody was a female, well, the well, the first female character to play the Doctor. Yeah. So, well, so she she couldn't dress up like a man and uh, play Doctor Who in a man way. No. She, well, she wants to be herself as a woman. And, and all the people out there, they misunderstand. And they didn't, they misunderstood her. And they didn't understand when Jodie plays the doctor. No. They just walked straight out and said, Oh, Jodie did this and that in Doctor Who. Oh, that wasn't good. That was bad. And that was bad. And this isn't good. And that was good. And this is bad. That Well, that, that's because you didn't understand how from a woman perspective. No, you don't understand that. Well, let's see. Well, let's see you. Yeah, you out there dr dressed up like a woman. And, and you try an addition to play. Um, let's uh, see which character you can play. Yeah, you play Ottoman. Yeah, you know the 80 TV show from the 80s. Auto man, yeah. Well, well, he he is a three dim dimensional, three dimensional character, and well, well, if he let's say you dressed up like a woman, and you look like a, a woman in drag, do they? There are people that want to create a remake, Kiri Buff of Auto Man from the eighties. Do these people want you as the character if you were dressed as a woman? That's the question. Yeah. Well, because uh, then, well, then you are watching a woman perspective through your eyes. Yeah. Then you can see how a woman feels when when they try to get an acting job, it could be playing Iron Man. It could be, um, well, a female Terminator. Yeah, a female Terminator, uh, like in well Terminator Seven. Well, our Arnold Schwarzenegger is um, retired from the role, and and uh, maybe he well maybe he gives the part to another character. A female and then you come in yeah you are a guy dressed up like a woman as a or a girl and you audition for this part yeah so what happens next do they give you the part or not or well maybe maybe you get the part yeah maybe you get the part and they put some makeup on you and like, uh, well, they fix you up like a Terminator. And uh, you play the Terminator 7 in a female perspective. And then people, yeah, the fans of the Terminator get suspicious. What? That Terminator looks like a woman. A lady. No. We don't like that. And then the reviews start. They don't like that at all. And then they notice that, oh, it's a guy dressed up like a woman and playing the Terminator. There's a man in drag in Terminator. Then they don't like it. And then the re review starts, the rumors start. Oh, Terminator 7 was a flop. And straight into the mud. And people, when they watch Terminator 7 in the in the cinema, they walk straight out. Because, oh, a man in drag plays Terminator? No way. What do you feel when people looking down 
straight down at you. When you try to dress up like a woman, because you want to see for your own eyes what it feels like to be a woman and what it feels like to see with woman's eyes. And then when you get a part in Terminator 7, people hate it because, oh, there's a guy dressed up like a woman and uh, uh, dressed up like the Terminator. No, we don't like this. We Well, we want Arnold Schwarzenegger back. He's the Terminator. And then you hear Arnold Schwarzenegger say, I'll be back. Yeah. So, now, well, now you know what Jody feels. Yeah, every time when people are criticizing her. Yeah, well, because you dressed up like a woman or a girl with a wig and his makeup and, you know. Well, j then you go in an acting job and then, uh, well, and then, you know, James Cameron and Tim Miller. Oh, okay, you get the part because you were the best of all the people here. And well, and you know that uh, James Cameron and Tim Miller don't, don't know that you are a guy in a female costume. No, they don't know because well, because you have you shaved all your beard and mustache off, and your yeah. And then you put some makeup on, and you talk like a female, and you walk like a female, and you go there. And James Cameron and Tim Miller don't know that you are a guy dressed up like a woman. No. And when they find out, what then? Then they say, you are a man dressed up like a woman? No, we don't like that. Get out of here. So now we have to create Terminator 7 all over again. So what then? What do you feel if people are looking at you? They, well, the same way they were looking at Jody when, when she took over the TARDIS. Well, because you want to uh, see for yourself as a woman how it feels for a woman to play a guy in a female perspective. Yeah. So, well, so men, many, many, many people, yeah, many people out there, they hurt Jody Whittaker's feelings about this yeah every time they were criticizing Jody oh, well all all the episodes that she played in yeah people criticize well well not all not all of them not all of the people but but some of the people did yeah so now you know Well, I I haven't criticized Jody. No, I haven't. I well, I gave her the chance to prove herself, and she did. I well, I like uh, well, I liked episodes that she plays in. Well, well, I like uh, the uh, Doctor Who, the power of the Doctor, and also that episode I told you about when uh, <coughs> when. Um, you know, the companions and her were in Norway. Yeah, they were in Norway in that episode. And I helped this blind girl to find her father who are in another dimension. But her mother was dead. And in this dimension, a creature, an alien creature, was uh, pretending to be her mom. 
Well, that that episode is one of my favorite episodes of all time. Yeah. And, well, there there's lots more episodes that's great with Jody. Well, you know, the Daleks and the Cybermen episodes. Great, awesome, amazing, and fun to watch. Yeah. So, well, so, so the Flux, yeah. Well, the Flux, you saw the Daleks in one of the episodes, and you saw the... Um, some Tarians in the uh, episode. You saw, you saw also the Weeping Angels in the uh, episodes there. Yeah. Well, Flux. Flux uh, was a uh, great season two. Uh, if, well, when it were her last season, it was a great season. Well, I liked it. Yeah, I liked it. But it was short. Six episodes were made. Yeah. Um. So, well, the Christmas special that's going to be released very soon on Disney Plus iPlayer, no, Disney Plus, BBC iPlayer, and the rest of the BBC channels in the world. So, I can't wait to watch it. No, I can't wait. So, well, so, so I'm going to sit down in my couch and in my living room, uh, maybe maybe eating some uh, food, some nice, great, and awesome food, and sit there and watch Doctor Who, the Christmas special. It's gonna be so fun, so much fun, yeah. Because I'm a Doctor Who fan, and and that what a Doctor Who fan does, and what a Doctor Who fan do. When a, a new episode is released, they get in the couch, in the living room, or in the in their bedroom. Yeah, maybe maybe you have a couch, sleeping couch, and a TV in your bedroom, and you watch Doctor Who there, or in the, your living room, or in the kitchen, or or it maybe maybe in the bathroom. Maybe, maybe you have a TV in the bathroom that you are watching. Who knows? Yeah. Well, thank you for listening, thank you for subscribing, and uh, thank you for liking my videos here on uh, YouTube. It, uh, I mean the short videos and uh, extended videos, so thank you for liking those videos, and um, well, I hope to see you soon in another video. So... Share your knowledge and your connection and your Sorry, I try again. Share your knowledge, connection and your collection with other Doctor Who fans all over the world and my friend the White Seal well, he's not here, but he says hello to everyone. And, well, he will be back soon in another video as well. Boof. So, and almost, it's Christmas soon. Yeah. So, Merry Christmas to everyone. And a happy good night. So, bye. Well, allons-y. <laughs>